Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Crypto Traders. So in today's video, we'll talk about, like, we'll keep it super short. Uh, we'll talk about the strong coins to long if this this bullish momentum continues because I'm, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people here who missed out uh, who missed out on on these gains that, that happened yesterday. Um, and it's, it's absolutely fine if you missed out on yesterday's move and you did not FOMO in when price had already pumped an absolutely crazy number, uh, whatever it was, um, good job. I mean, you, you, you're already ahead um, in your in your trading journey because you were able to resist basically um, you were able to accept that the price had moved on and you wait you waited for a pullback to, to you know like ladder into your positions um, so that I'm going to talk about which coins to long we'll talk about where am I going to long on Bitcoin now what's the game plan on Bitcoin and lastly we'll talk about a little bit little bit about I feel like up until now I've always felt um, that there is time to, to accumulate your coins. There's a lot of time and I still feel the same. Uh, but I feel now I, I the urgency matter has has, you know, like has slightly increased. So whatever the the uh, whatever the urgency of buying these coins was, I feel it's slightly um, higher now. Up until now, I was pretty like chilled. I was always like, yeah, there's a lot of time the next six months, eight months, whatever. Uh, but with what's happening in, in the fundamental side of things, on the news side of things, with the whole SEC, Coinbase, XRP, all those uh, variables, and plus the whole BlackRock, Bitcoin ETF, that variable, um, I feel it's time that I, I personally, I'm going to start um, laddering into the positions that I want to have for, for my spot bags as well. Okay. So on Bitcoin, what's the game plan on Bitcoin? We'll start with that. Um, oh, by the way, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it support us um uh, yeah guys if you could like just like the video i always forget to say that um but yeah yeah please please if you could just li like the video whenever you can um and i actually prefer a comment much more to be honest because it gives me some sort of feedback and now on bitcoin so i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do right now okay this is like i'm the, the market is in a in a in that phase where I'm not comfortable making calls by saying yeah this is like a good level to buy or this is good for buying. Um, it's it's more where I'm personally buying because of the how how the last two days have have gone. So I caught a bulk of the move on LTC yesterday, Pepe yesterday, and I got incredibly lucky longing XRP after the initial pump had happened. Um, and so we'll talk a little bit about that as well. But on Bitcoin, I feel if you miss this move up. You know, all this move up. The first level where I'm feeling, okay, this is the time to start laddering and this is the start time to start building the pullback Bitcoin long. It's it's here. It's at 3,800, like 30,800. Because up until now, all this while, there was this was like there was air here, okay, on, on nearer, shorter time frames. And I feel around these highs, this is where Bitcoin needs to hold. If Bitcoin is able to hold around these levels, we will treat the we will treat this move as the breakout and this as the retest, and then this continues to go up. Otherwise, if we actually lose this thirty nine hundred, basically this level here, let me actually mark it out for you. Um, one sec. Basically, if we lose these highs here, you know these wicks here, is where where I will feel that okay, this is this is going slightly more towards this being the DV. What the fuck is wrong with me? Um, yeah. If if we actually lose this level here and Bitcoin starts to break below, you know, like 3,800 and starts staying there on, on higher time frames, I would treat that as a as this part as a deviation and then deal deal with this accordingly. But until that happens, I'm treating this as the level to, to open my longs with invalidations, of course. So what's the invalidation? What's the entry? I'm going to talk about that now. Uh, by the way, quick... Uh, TLDR of, of how I am right now is I was out with friends. We had plans to, to go out today. So went out, got a li little bit hammered. But I, I had to do the show because I feel this is one of those one of those days where I just have to do a show to to basically let you guys know my thought process behind what am I entering, which coins I'm entering, why I'm entering these coins, where I'm entering these coins, what's the what's the continuation for Bitcoin. Um, level and stuff like that and I just came back home so I'm going to quickly do the stream and then I'm actually going to go out um, back to to back to the party basically um, so that's why I ignore if I have a little you know like a 
fumble here or there with words um because i just had to do the show because if i don't do the show today and this this turns out to be the level where you had to get in if you missed the move um i would feel really bad for you and i'm i'm just I'm, again i'm not trying to create fomo here or any sort of um forced urgency here i'm just saying that from my perspective because because i i legit feel that this is the last level where one need, one needs to be at their system be on their computer if they missed what happened yesterday i personally am not very interested in in adding more to my to my uh, leveraged longs but i will i'm i'm more than happy to help you guys or people who actually missed the the previous move let me actually open my trading account here one sec sorry just okay now on bitcoin this is the higher time frame i've explained the importance of of basically holding this level here because all these wicks this was the level to break okay um this was basically the level to break this this yellow zone here because we got rejected here multiple times we broke through it once then quickly came back below this this 3900 or 31000 level basically and we basically failed to have a daily close above 31k up until here and when this happened the very next day we actually had this and this basically confirmed this candle here confirmed that okay this was just a deviation we're back within the range we don't want that to happen here if bitcoin has a daily candle close something like this and then the next candle has a wick and then a red another candle like this then that's just bad that's just bad for for bulls here okay so this is that this is that level now if we can bounce from here we will treat this as the breakout and as long as this level holds that's our invalidation for our bullish thesis okay that's basically my game plan here now coming on lower time frames where am i entering oh, one sec let me actually remove this here first where am i entering my longs it's okay look at this level here so this this phase right here for me is as of now in this indecision from the market okay that's how i'm treating this this place right now even though this is the good level to this is a good level to start entering your higher time frame longs on the last like yesterday and today i i've always told you guys that i'll i'll be very honest with what i have been doing and i've literally been trading on the 1 minute chart with ema21 all day yesterday i have a, i have a very good friend who actually has the same drive as me uh in finding setups we were literally just texting each other okay look at this chart snx look at xlm xrp inj near ltc this and that okay and and we 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 were just playing off of the ema21 on one minute chart which for me has been very a, a very successful strategy in the past only and this is the important part only when the market goes in a in a unidirectional trend whether only up only or down only whenever a coin does let me quickly show you what i'm talking about here let's look at xrp and this is something that i'm i'm just sharing as a let me actually remove this box it looks ugly um i didn't plan to do this on the show today but yeah i just want to show you what exactly i'm talking about uh when a coin does like you know goes up like this i usually just wait for for a coin to come back to its ema21 anywhere on this move up and then as long as long as the ema21 holds i keep adding to my position on every successful ema touch here so if i enter here i keep playing off of this until we lose this ema and whenever we get closer to it i add more to the position but the invalidation always being losing ema 21 and i and i felt that whenever a coin goes up only or down only ema 21 on 1 minute charts 5 minute charts 15 minute charts whatever is is your comfortable time frame are, are, are super good because if you wait for those confirmations on h1 or h4 you will just miss out on on your entry is is what i felt personally okay so that's what i've been doing yesterday and today so on h4 and h1 i've barely taken any trades today or yesterday and i'm i'm not recommending that this is a good way to trade but this is personally just something that i love to do uh, i did the same thing back when remember when pepe pumped and i was i said like i took like 20 trades that day i did a stream um and i took like 20 trades that day on on pepe because i was just playing off of the ema21 on super low time frames it's risky but i do it with a with a with a separate account that i have um and i keep keep making these plays and that's what i've been doing yesterday and today we will talk about this strategy on some day where where the market goes up only or down only and with with life i'll or even if it's not live next time this happens i'm doing a twitch stream to do that with you but i i have to i have to let you know that it's risky and and it's it's 
you don't have to do that if you're a good trader on higher time frames stick to whatever time frames you're comfortable in just because you see somebody else making money uh with a particular style doesn't mean you have to do it okay maybe it doesn't fit fit your risk profile maybe it doesn't fit your trading style whatever um now on bitcoin i'm actually looking here for long because this is the level where i feel bitcoin just absolutely has to hold one sec what the fuck is this level here we want bitcoin to bounce from here and as, as soon as we get the bounce here um break above this yellow zone here is when i open an initial position and ema 50 uh, ema 200 on h 15 minute is when i'm actually going to enter into my bitcoin longs with invalidation wherever this this low is okay so if you've missed the the bitcoin move up until now and you're looking for a for a long uh, because your thesis says that um this is just a correction in the in a bigger up only move um this is the level where i would be like okay bitcoin you got to bounce here okay that's the bitcoin side of things i'm actually going to enter this long myself as well i've always said that i'll i'll make it very clear when i'm actively going to wait for that position look for that position and enter that position um this is one of those i'm actually going to take that bitcoin long um and whenever i do i will i will let you guys know on on discord or twitter whichever which i was more convenient um that's bitcoin now to the by the way sorry 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 this is like a unusual stream i actually absolutely forgot to to talk about the thumbnail and title can't miss that it's pretty simple top coins for a potential alt season i'm going to talk about alt coins now that's the that's the title of the show um and the thumbnail was is this alt season why i'm referring this to the alt season is pretty simple look at this chart here look at this move up here this was this was the move between one range here which was this this bottom here to this top here if you zoom out i've talked about this t2 chart like 100 times i've always said this is the key to your altcoin um, this is the key to your altcoin i don't know what the right word is like compass maybe i don't know what the right word is i can't think of the right word here but it's basically how i decide okay this is the time to go all in on longs and this is the time to just wait for for further correction this is the chart right here the t2 and or the t3 i mean you can use the same thing for for t3 as well something like this so we were at the bottom here on t3 which is basically the total crypto market cap excluding bitcoin and eth and t2 is total crypto market cap excluding bitcoin okay so these are your coins which show you okay what's happening with altcoins in general i feel a, a very big problem with a lot of newer traders is they see a couple of coins going up and they start they see four of their coins on their watch list go up and they're like all season all season all season um back in the bull run yes that may have been true but ever since we've been we've been in this range you just need to wait to, for for your t2 and t3 chart to let you know okay this is the time to invest in altcoins so where are we on t3 here look this was where the bottom was on t3 this has been by the way if you've been here for a long time you you know these levels i've talked about these levels multiple times so whatever i said on bitcoin right now is is going to be true here for t3 as well we bounced off of these lows here and we made our way back to the mid range here between 410 billion and 310 billion so if we actually close below this now if we close below the this this blue line here we will treat this as a deviation and that will be bearish because we're like okay we've lost this level no need to to go ham on on our altcoin uh, longs we just wait okay that's that's going to be the game plan if and that's if we lose this level if we just bounce off of this level here that's a break above this blue line that's a break above ema 200 on the daily a retest on the very next candle and then up and then we target this high here so if if you believe that the first case is true where this is just going to like okay sorry let me actually rephrase the whole thing the first is this one where this is actually broken out and we will treat this as support and as as a support is support until proven otherwise so we will treat this as support and we will expect a bounce here so all our plays will reflect our thesis which says if your thesis is number 1 this one um then you're like okay i'm looking for longs here if your thesis is that no this was actually just a failed breakout and i feel that this is going to break down here if if there's some reason you believe that or you will wait for that confirmation whatever be the case then in that scenario you're actually actively looking to short alts because this looks bearish as fuck because then this is the deviation from this move and if the very next candle i've said this like multiple times before 
um, this is just an opinion, of course, is when you have on higher time frame a candle breakout, and on the very next candle price comes back with the and closes below your your support. That's incredibly bearish. That's a very bearish sign when you have a breakout, and then the very next candle price comes back in. And similarly, when price break breaks down below on higher time frames, and on the very next candle we get like a full Dalai Lama or or Burj Khalifa, whatever. Uh, that's incredibly bullish. So one sec, let me actually quickly take a read here. I'm guessing nine point three two seven. Yeah. Now talking about the. Um, I'm by the way personally, I'm I'm of the belief that as long as this level holds, I'm treating this as a bounce, and I'm looking for plays here. My stop losses will be there on all these plays, so I'll just wait. To be proven wrong, and in that scenario, I'll be like, okay, I was wrong. My stops got hit. Um, now we wait for the for the shorts, okay? But until we lose this on higher time frames, I'm not gonna short because that will be just stupid, in my personal opinion. Now coming to the the crux of the show today is is what altcoins are long. This is so fucking weird, um, because we've been like 16 minutes into the show, and I'm, I'm just coming to altcoins now. Whew. Number one. Uh, okay, so I'm going to talk about a few altcoins. Please note them down some way if possible, because I feel these are the altcoins which you should be looking at. And I'll tell you why. Okay, I'm not just going to give you some random shit altcoins, um, which are low cap market cap. No, all of these are big projects, big coins. And I'll give you a reason uh, with the coin. Okay, why, why do I believe there's a narrative which supports um, this coin or whatever? Okay, so let me quickly open these charts here. Number one, of course, Injective is my favorite. Um, this coin has been an absolute fucking beast, man. I mean, look at this coin here. Um, this is this is just this is like a super strong coin. Sorry, <laughs> a force of habit. Um, this is one coin that I feel should be on your on your watch list. It, it, it's one of the stronger coins, and I feel we're in that stage of the market where you add to your winners. You know, don't don't think about the coins that are lagging behind. Don't don't worry about oh this has pumped a lot, X X has pumped a lot, Y still hasn't pumped at all. Maybe I should long Y. I don't think that's the that's that phase of the market. Okay, by the way, please note this down. I genuinely feel that if you just just make a note of this, and if your watch list has these coins, you will see good quality coins uh, which have a particular narrative associated with it. Okay, number one, um, Bitcoin of course is, is has to be number one with the whole ETF thing. It's um, it's the most important coin. It, it's always been the most important coin in crypto. I mean, it's the most important coin, even in terms of trading, which is not usually the case. Come on. All of us are degens here. We love to trade our altcoins. But this is one of those stages. This is where I would love to get in a Bitcoin long and not have to close it and just ride the wave. Okay. And I'm happy to, to trade with my alts by making plays on H1 and 15-minute charts and one-minute charts. We, I make money with, with those coins. But I just want to be a good, have a good entry on a Bitcoin long and then ride it. That's it. Okay. Number one, Bitcoin. Number two, of course, ETH. With the whole XRP bullish scenario, I, I'm pretty sure you've read like 50 threads on Twitter about how this Ripple news is extremely good for ETH because maybe ETH is not a security, blah, 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 whatever. We all know that. Okay. Number three, of course, it's um, injective because this is the stage in the market where the strong coins they will continue to show strength. Remember when back in the Aptos day, when Aptos was pumping and everybody was looking to, to short it because they're like, oh, this has gone up a lot. I feel the same is going to happen with Injective. It's one of the strongest coins. It's a major cap. Uh, by the way, uh, none of these coins that I'm talking about, um, these are all I'm talking, like these. the reason I'm talking about these coins is because they're good coins to trade. Okay, I'm not saying we buy all these coins. I'm just saying just these are the coins that should be on your trading watch list, okay? Number two, um, ETH. Number three, injective. There was a there was a Hasaka tweet, I think a week, a couple of weeks back, where he said that average winners, average winners, something like that. And I, I to be very honest, I don't know what he meant. I took it as um, that this is the phase where you just keep adding to your winners, you keep adding to your winners, and you you make shit ton of money with that. That's what I took from it. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was right. I don't know. Um, but Injective number three. Number four, everybody's favorite Solana. Um, it's It feels like Solana finally is, is reaching that stage where there are more people who believe in coin go up 
than who believe, oh, there's four sellers, oh, there's this, oh, there's SBF, oh, there's Alameda. Fucking hell. Um, yeah, Solana is, is, is an easy coin that should be on your watch list. Let me actually quickly cover levels. Of, by the way, I don't know how to do the, how to do this because there's too many coins for me to just individually start covering. Um, anyway, I'll try. Uh, number one, look, injective. I personally will just try to get a get a long on injective anywhere possible for me. I want to take a long there and just just leave it. Ideally, I would love EMA twenty one on H one, but look, I'm I'm fully I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do here because it might be slightly irresponsible. So I'll just keep it to myself. But I look for a for an entry on injective on lower time frames, maybe even EMA twenty one on fifteen minute. Ideally, um, the the smart trader strategy would be to wait for the EMA twenty one on H one or something. That's what I believe. But I don't know, man. I just feel I need an entry. I'm going to I'm going to take a couple of hits if needed, but if we get an EMA 21 reclamation here, I'm going to take a long and with stop loss below that. If if this one, I lose that, I'm, I'm happy to take another entry, another, I don't know, another hit at it, whatever the right word is. Um, that's that's pretty simple for me. Solana, I have, I have a... Where the fuck is Solana? If you, if you remember, if, I'm pretty sure there's there's very few people here, but back when I first started on, on the banter Discord, I wrote like a... I wrote like a super, super long thesis on Solana. And if you read that, um, number one, I, I'm, I'm like super happy because if there's one person here who actually remembers that super long thesis that I wrote on Solana, why I feel this is a good coin to buy, where I'm going to buy it, what levels to look at. And the three levels that I talked about was $11, $3, basically this. Um, yeah, four, three dollars $11, $18, and $26. That Those are the four levels that I talked about. And every time Solana has broken above one of these, I buy that coin and I just ride it to the next one. I'm not, I still not, I, I, by the way, I did not get my $3 entry, of course. Um, but whenever we, like when we broke $18, I buy Solana, I hold Solana and I sell it at the next one. Okay, that, that's what I've been doing. But this $26 Solana level is slightly different. Let me show you why. Because this level is basically a break of this sideways movement. Because now if we actually start consolidating above this level on the weekly chart or even the daily chart, that's basically break above this, this entire SBF episode or Alameda episode, whatever it was. You know, like that part's gone now. So now between here, the next level that I would be looking at, it would be somewhere around 44 level, which would be the mid-range here and these highs here. For that reason, a long on Solana for me is just about how can I get an entry as close to $26 as possible and risk whatever money I feel is worth risking on this trade. It could be X for me, Y for somebody else, Z for somebody else. Okay. For me, Solana is 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 one coin that I if your if your thesis is is what I my thesis on Solana is, um, you would be incredibly bullish on this coin, not just like for a trade, but just buy it and hold to $80 or $90, whatever. I'm not one of those people who's going to tell you that it's going to go past all time highs because I have zero clue. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I would be very happy it happened, but I don't think it will happen. Um, but I still feel it's one of the, one of those coins that you just have to keep on your watch list. The, the, the coins that are strong will, will show you something like this. You can just note what your favorite coin did at this time and see how it performed. Did it do this? Did it do this? Or did it actually go up, go sideways, go up, and then has been making these higher lows? Just by looking at a chart, you will you will be able to tell, okay, this is a strong coin. Anyway, over to the next coin. Um, I've talked about Injective, Solana, Bitcoin, and ETH, right? The fifth one, the most obvious one is XRP. Again, come on. Uh, it, it's self-explanatory. Uh, which coins you are holding, bro? Synapse, um, STG. I have a little bit of uh, that coin. What, what's that coin called? Um, the bridge one. Yeah, my memory is like really foggy. Maybe it's because of the, the party I'm just coming from. <laughs> um, wait, what the fuck? Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, I've tweeted about it, so you can you can you can check all the coins that I have a little bit of position in. Is that's my pinned tweet. So every time I bought a coin, except for sushi, which I sold all of it, um, 
I've been buying these other coins a little bit here and there, but I'm actually going to start a full fledged portfolio just for everybody who couldn't or hasn't joined us before, because what I don't want is for me to make like shit ton of money on a coin and somebody to miss out on it because they were not there when I initially talked about it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to quickly revise and, and do that. I'll do a full show, maybe uh, top 10 coins or something. I don't know. Would you guys be interested in, in a, in a show called, um, no, 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 not leverage long. I'm talking spot. Uh, somebody actually, uh, oh, wait, I, sorry. I forgot to put the question here. I was answering this question. He says, which coin, coins are you holding? I meant spot. I've talked about the levels on, on these coins, Synapse, STG, Ribbon Finance. Um, how the fuck am I? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm just drawing a blank on that, that bridge coin. And that's so weird because I've talked about it like 50 times. Um, anyway, I, I, do you guys want me to do a show where I talk about only spot bags for the next cycle, which coins I'm buying, what levels I'm buying. Um, yeah, Aptos, Synapse, Ribbon, Filecoin, Doge. Yeah, there was one more, Remco. Thank you so much for saying that, man. Uh, but there was one more. It was in the same tweet that I did. Um, it was the same tweet where I talked about Synapse and STG. I also mentioned, mentioned a third coin. Yeah, so I'm more than happy to do that show uh, if there's enough demand for it. Um, I'm more than happy to do that because... I'm, I'm look, I'm primarily a trader. I love to trade. Um, I think I'm decently good at it. Uh, but I feel if I'm not investing on in, in spot, I'm just, yeah, it's just QRDO. Thank you so much for saying that, man. Really appreciate it. I just couldn't remember that name for the life of me. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. Um, yeah, so those are the coins that I'm holding. I'm good. If you want, I'm, I'll just do a full show um, on which coins I have already bought, which coins I'm going to buy. and. Uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll all, but look, I will always tell you why I'm buying a coin. That's much more important. I feel a lot of people focus on on the what, and just forget about that, and then they come back blaming the person like, oh, this coin's going down now, uh, which is why I will always give you the the why, and you can choose for yourself if you believe that that thesis is important. A quick TLDR is, I believe that interoperability is going to be a big play next cycle, so my spot bags will reflect that. I'm going to buy a, a lot more synapse. I'm going to buy a lot of STG. And eventually, when there's a layer zero airdrop, I'm going to buy a shit ton of layer zero um, and a lot of other stuff, DeFi stuff, real world stuff. Yeah, we'll talk about that on another show. Um, let me quickly cover a lot of tweet, uh, a lot of coins here. Apart from that, Pepe, look, I've, I've said this before. I've done a tweet about it. I've, I've wrote it on Discord. So if you still missed it, I don't know how to reach you. I'm, I'm, I'm all out of, out of ideas. Um, this is where I tweeted like, I posted a, a big, big, big message on. By the way, do you guys read the super long messages I type on Discord? Honestly, come on. Like, super honestly. Do you guys actually read the whole thing? Um, when I type a, a 500 word, 800 word, like long thought process about different coins, different setups, how many people actually read the whole thing? Or do you just skim through and see, oh, is he talking about a long or short? No, like, fuck off. <laughs> do you do that? Um, come on, like, super honestly, you can tell me. Um, because I talked about this, this... Um, Pepe, I did a show with DocXBT somewhere here, I'm guessing. No, wait, somewhere here. This is where we were discussing it. We were waiting a daily close above, I don't know, here or here. I don't know. We were waiting a daily close above this 17 level. And I've been saying just buy, buy Pepe anywhere on 14 and sell on 17. That's like the easiest play. If this fully retraces here, I'm going to start buying around like this level here. And just hold on to it as long as these levels hold. I'm going to hold on to my spot, Pepe. And then I'm just going to sell it here again. 17. Okay. Eventually, when we actually break out of this, or maybe if this is the breakout and this just quickly reclaims here, just buy again. Stop loss below this. I still feel Pepe is like the easiest coin to trade if you're on spot. Uh... <laughs> Sean Gray says, normally, yes, but I'm in the woods. No, I didn't write that message now. Look, sometimes I, I just... Can't do a show, but I have something to talk about. Um, and yeah, when it's like time sensitive, I just write the whole thing down. It's like, it takes me a lot of time to, to compile all of it, format all of it. So I really, really appreciate it if you like to read the whole thing. Um, but yeah, so Pepe is of course one of those coins. Look, you've seen how bullish Pepe gets when the markets get going, okay? And we've also seen that Pepe was one of the very few coins which was going up or down irrespective of, of the the rest of the market you know it's it's shown us that 
for that coin, it's pretty normal to do that. I remember uh, there was a time when Solana was like that, but in last cycle, where it would just do whatever the fuck it want. It was like Bitcoin would go down, everything was going down, and Solana was going up. There was there was a time that that was that was happening, and I feel Pepe is one of those coins which you just buy on higher time frames. Don't try to mess with Pepe on lower time frames. It's just yeah, too wiki, too volatile, whatever. Personally, I prefer spot on Pepe. And I'm also going to buy Pepe because, yeah, look, DogXBT is a smart guy. He has a thesis. I kind of agree with what he says. Um, and I don't have to choose between Doge and Pepe. Um, I just have to choose how much I allocate, what percentage I allocate to which. So for me, I'm going to buy both of them. And I'm going to buy Pepe if it comes back here on 14, whatever. Like, I'm just going to call this 14 because I don't even know how to pronounce this. So that's that's Pepe. So that's the fifth or sixth coin, whatever. Now, a quick... Now, the rest of the guys have to be quick. Number one, there was a tweet from Andrew Kang. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it. He he laid out, laid out his ApeCoin thesis, how a lot of NFTs have bottomed. NFTs were like absolutely got wrecked. Um, most of them, their flows have, have found bottoms. And if the NFT cycle picks up, ApeCoin is the best major cap coin, in my opinion, unless I'm forgetting something, to basically have, have like a... You know, your, your ball in the court or whatever, you, in the game. By buying Pepe. Uh, sorry, by Ape. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Um, anyway, Pepe, Injective, Solana, Bitcoin, ETH, and now it's ApeCoin. Okay. Let me quickly show you the ApeCoin chart here on higher time frames. By the way, I'm, I'm really sorry because I just couldn't. I do these things from memory, okay? I'm, I I like I don't have any script or anything written in front of me uh, because I felt if I do that, I'm just, yeah, not saying what I'm actually thinking. I'm just writing stuff down, whatever sounds good. So all the shows, whether it's Twitch or, or YouTube, none of it is scripted, okay? I do it from memory because I, I note all these things down. Sometimes I even forget. I'm really sorry for that. Um, but yeah, this is ApeCoin. It's been a coin which has been down only ever since 26 January. Holy fuck. Look at this coin here. And do you see how well it's it's, it's been playing on EMA21 here? Um, look at this rejection, this rejection, this rejection. Even this one. So ever since here, it's been a perfect rejection at EMA21. Today, when I saw that message from Andrew Kang, the first thing I did was I said, okay, if this actually breaks out, and I'm actually going to show it how to do that because I'm not sure a lot of people know that. Um, everybody knows how to set up an alert on a line just by clicking this line and you get here. But you can what you can also do is you can set up an alert on a, a indicator. I'll show you like one sec. So add alert on EMA. So you can just click on this. And now what happens is whenever this coin actually gets... You know, like get uh, EMA. What the fuck is happening? Yeah, let me actually quickly look at what's happening with Bitcoin because I actually totally forgot to Bitcoin dump. Okay, so this is how you can set up an alert on EMAs. So whenever this one actually goes for this EMA, I will be notified. And if we break past EMA 21, I'm just going to buy some spot ape. I'm, I'm really going to do this. I'm just going to buy some spot ape and just forget about it. And I will set up an alert below this level here, 1.95, 1.96. And that, that'll be when I decide whether to start thinning my position or reducing my position, whatever. But as of now, this looks bearish. But depending on how candle closes, just set up an alert on, on this EMA. And that way you can just, yeah, you will be easily be able to track ApeCoin once it actually goes uh, goes past this EMA21 here. Again, the reason is pretty simple. The bottoms um, and ApeCoin is your best bet to, to bet on, on the whole NFT thing, okay? That's ApeCoin. Some other casual mentions here and there. Um, number one, everybody's forgotten about BCH. So have I for the time being. Um, as long as BCH, let me actually open the BCH chart here. I don't know. This is the best level for me on BCH is 
this 200 and let me just delete this here this 270 level is is basically my level um on on bch if you're bullish on bch for, for i don't know god knows what reason um just wait for a reclamation of 270 and pretty soon what's going to happen is this ema 21 is going to come like this and you will have like a some sort of a confluence here with this 270 level okay what's that why am i getting so many messages here Um, that's it. There, if you if you are interested on a BCH short, okay. Um, I did a show with Runner XPT. He had a pretty laid out thesis on a BCH short. He's talked about that BCH short pretty, um, like pretty much in detail on on that stream. So just check out that stream and and just yeah, that's that's your BCH short there set up. He, he's he's talked about it. You can just check it out. Um, remember. These, these setups have risk profiles and if only take the trades if if it actually fits your risk profile okay somebody says Brian says XRP was long XRP long was awesome yesterday equally great short today yeah I just personally just don't short strong coins um it's a rule that I made uh and which stream was this on please um the last stream I did just before this one I think two days back with runner XPT um yeah it's the just the the previous streamer if i remember correctly unless i've done one more just just look at the playlist it says runner xpt on the thumbnail you can check the thumbnail of the stream well, maybe it's text taking see our out oh it, all of them are my round today because i fucking left in the like in the middle of the party so yeah it's it's, it's all me i'm i'm screwed today <laughs> one sec sorry Yeah, all of them are my rounds today. <laughs> okay, coming to the next one. By the way, if you if you guys want, you can guess the coins on in the comments. Uh, I see somebody actually did that. Um, Joseph Yuja, he says STX. Um, that's exactly the reason. Pretty simple. STX is your altcoin bet on Bitcoin. As long as you're bullish on Bitcoin, as long as your bullish thesis on Bitcoin stands, STX is a is a much more faster move up and faster move down. Um, it's your proxy bet on Bitcoin, basically. Um, the whole ordinals thing was a big deal uh, a month back. Um, everybody forgot about it. And now I feel as, as soon as more and more pe people start talking about Bitcoin, the Bitcoin maxis, at least some of them will start pushing. Um, we'll, we'll start realizing the, the power of ordinals. And look, it's, it's absolutely amazing stuff. Um, read about it. If you wanted to do a show on it, I'm more than happy to do it. But it's just like, you can just read it off Wikipedia or something. I don't know. Um, it's pretty pretty basic stuff. And it's fun. It's, it's actually super fun. Um, yeah, okay. Apart from that, uh, a few other casual mentions here and there was Lido and Matic. Uh, the only reason I have them on my watch list are pretty much like, oh, I just realized that you guys can't see the screen of mine, um, the watch list one. <laughs> I have like 10 uh, trading view windows, not trend. One, two, three, four, five, six, six trading views um, tabs open. And I'm actually looking at these coins on another tab. That's why. Um, so I, I <laughs> wait, I just realized how, how confusing it would be for you because I have the BCA chart open and I'm just, you must be thinking I'm just like talking about these coins randomly, you know, like from memory or something. No, no that's not the case. Um, now it's just Lido and Matic. I have like quick mentions. Matic did like a full fucking rebrand. I don't know what the reason for that was. Um, but the only thing that I could come up with was what the Sandeep is, is maybe, I don't know. Um, it's it's a good way. Okay, I'm not saying this is why they did it. I'm just saying if I did it, this this is why it would be was. It's a good way for, for you to hide your chart, you know, previous chart uh, from newer retail traders or investors who joined the market late. Uh, because all they will see is your coin, coin going from whatever price it is today, 80, 85, 90, whatever. Um, it's a good way to just remove a chart from, from, I don't know. Um, maybe that's a, the, maybe just, maybe it's just a theory. Um, uh, but yeah, keep an eye on Matic. It was, what the fuck is Bitcoin doing? It just broke straight through. Yeah. This is where you keep an eye on Bitcoin. Right. Where the chart. 
Okay. Has to bounce here. If we lose this, it just goes into waiting territory. In fact, you know what? I'm actually going to take a Bitcoin long here. Just a small, slightly risky one. Uh, because if we do bounce here, this is a this is a super level to, to play the bounce. The, again, this is a lower time frame trade. So my position size reflects that, of course. Um, I hope we reach a stage someday that I don't have to like keep saying this again and again, where you guys are just like, oh, this is a lower time frame trade. So of course, he's not going all in on his account. Sorry, I'm actually just setting up my other account here. By the way, let me know if this this sort of half hazard sort of stream was, I don't know, maybe less enjoyable. Let me know in the comments later. But I just have to take a long year. 30 to 50 would be perfect. OK. This is a lower time frame, quick scat that I'm trying here. The reason is pretty simple. Just look at this. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, I would say. This is the bounce play here. It's uh, either I lose a very small portion, or if this, this is the bounce, I just take it to to the next um, EMA. That's like a just a pre pretty small scalp, just using a basic trend line. Okay, this is not like the usual way we trade our big uh, portfolio coin. Uh, you know, like big sorry main trading account. This is just the the scalp one, and this is the level where it, it should bounce. If it doesn't, good night. <laughs> it's like. I'm not sure how many people you see basketball, but there's a there's a LeBron dunk where the, the caster says good night, Cleveland. Uh, this is where that's like good night, Bitcoin. Objective. By the way, is it is it weird um, when I go into these like three second, five second quiet moments? For, for you guys, because I'm pretty sure you see a lot of streams and there's a lot of video there. You can see the person's so it's OK. But when it's just an audio stream, um, I don't know. Is it is it like um, I hope it's OK, because that allows me to do longer streams. Um, otherwise, I just can't do like more than 40 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever. After taking a long on Bitcoin, I'll, let you, I'll tell you my exact uh, entry level is 3390. Uh, and I'm just I'm just watching how it does your if my stop gets hit below. 30, what's the level here? Yeah, 3185 at that level. I'll just be like, okay, take the loss, move on, next trade. So I was I was talking about Matic. Sorry, that was an interruption there. Um the whole the whole um uh, Matic rebrand thing, and plus there was this other news, just make note of this, uh, where a lot of coins which had threats of 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 being regarded as securities. Um, they was they were finally freed from the the threat of, of being just deemed a security because of the whole XRP case. So that was Solana, Matic, Cardano. These coins were on that list, remember? Which was okay. Are these are these coins actually uh, securities? If they are, these coins had a massive dump. Um, so now that they are not securities, these coins have found a bullish narrative because back when that that news broke out, we put these coins on coins to short. Because those were our, our prime targets to, to short because there was force selling from Robinhood from on those coins. People were letting go of their coins because they're like, if this turns out into a security, we're fucked. Now it's bullish because it's not, it's been deemed not a security. And based on the whole XRP case, um, there's precedent for, for the, these coins, Solana, Matic, and Cardano, based on this thesis. Okay. That's the whole reason. That's the other reason for Matic as well. And the last coin is Lido. I, I, th I think I saw a tweet from. I don't know who it was. And he said he used the word like leveraged ETH, time to long leveraged ETH. And I'm I'm not sure if you guys have seen that, but that's just Lido. Um leveraged ETH is, is basically just Lido. So yeah, Lido is the last coin on the list. What's the update on STX? What's happening here on STX? Oof. Rejection. EMA hundred on the daily. Next time, wherever we enter our trade. This is our this is our resistance or I don't know TP whatever you want to call it. If you if we enter if we enter along somewhere here, um, this would be where we would be looking for our first rejection. Um, you know, if we take this long, I don't know. Wherever we take along, I hope you you guys like just 
silence no problem at all no all fine we're all in the same vibe amazing amazing thank you so much for saying that by the way i have like really good viewers and and followers i've noticed that a lot of people get shit on on their twitter comments on their videos uh, i i i just have never felt that and i'm 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 super super happy about that um because i don't have like salty people here which is super refreshing because the whole reason i i didn't want to do the whole streaming and influencer thing was because there's so much like fucking salty people here and there um yeah anyway the last coin is is of course like i said lido so just a quick tldr let me actually okay let me see if i can do this from memory let me know if i missed any of those coins because you've seen the whole video come on guys you guys can just check in the video as well bdc eth of course then there's the security three coins it's solana matic and cardano then there's the leveraged eth which is lido then there's the the strongest coin the strongest coin in the market right now um or you know like not just in the last month last three months injective it's the it's the winning coin uh apart from that there's pepe there's ape coin with the whole nft thing am i missing anything yeah xrp um xrp was of course the the obvious one there's the wait uh, by the way I, i think i forgot to talk about xlm um that's the that's the alt xrp that that was basically going hand in hand with xrp yesterday when the whole thing was fucking pumping um and there was one more topic did i talk about the whole airdrop thing how airdrops are much more with the whole sec versus xrp thing airdrops are like um wanted now in the industry like they, they're actually by by the way i don't mean wanted in a this this thief is wanted or whatever i mean like airdrops good is what i mean okay uh and any coins which were airdropped uh, yeah keep an eye on those coins whether it's your yeah i don't know the whole list of coins that got airdrop ab uh, arbitrum optimism those coins um i still don't have a thesis on it but once i do i will i will let you guys know yeah by the way sorry the stream was like super half hazard because i just rushed into my home i set up the stream then uh yeah i just started the stream by the way not set up the stream start the stream i actually took my laptop and i was setting it up from there um so i just rushed back home I haven't even changed i've done the stream and i'm it's it's like literally midnight here so i'm just going to leave now um and i'm going to come back later so yeah good luck to you guys thank you for so tuning in I, i think this is like the most viewers we've had in, in a long long time 130 live viewers even at the end of the video super amazing um i'm more than happy to write like a make a list of these coins tomorrow but i don't know man guys you guys you guys have the video so you know all the coins now more importantly you know why I'm I'm talking about these coins. If I have missed any, I will I will go through the video tomorrow morning and I will yeah, do another show or write it on Discord or on Twitter. Lastly, lastly, lastly before we leave, um yeah, just just sign up to the Discord. I've been using this Discord as a as a more of a personal DM message kind of thing. Like, you know, like a lot of I'm I'm going to post a lot of more stuff on Discord because what I want to do is have like a running commentary on the markets. Like any time i'm i'm in front of my laptop playing games or or doing something or working whatever uh, and i'm always in the market okay so i just want to have like a running commentary thing and I, until i can come up with a better product that's the discord so i'm going to do a lot more me- uh, posting on discord it sometimes it will just be like running commentary it's not just going to be calls the calls one will use the trade setups one but i have like a crypto thoughts one or bombay thoughts one something like that where i'm just going to start posting a lot more running commentary so just just i hope it helps you find good coins because i still feel there's a lot of good traders in our community it's just that you, you're struggling with choosing the right coins again that's just my opinion maybe i could be wrong but that's what i feel so i want to help you with that um and yeah lqty was one of those coins so that the friend of mine actually he he texted me and then he called me uh and that's why i was lucky on on lqty it was totally luck Okay so that's it so sign up to the discord have i don't know notifications on if you want on twitter if not it's okay also if you guys want to open a new i don't know account or something just use one of the reflings in description if you could would really appreciate it if not no problem um and of course 
lastly most importantly this this video and then crypto traders like sponsored by prime xpt so check out prime xpt man i'm actually oh wait i wanted to talk about a gold setup that i was looking at and i actually totally forgot about it because i i forgot to talk to you guys about it this is basically something that i've been looking on on gold um and i'm actually going to take this trade on prime xbt uh because i've want i've been wanting to try commodities and and stocks and stuff and nasdaq and and spx and stuff um and i want to share these setups with you guys so this is something that i will i don't know make a i will post it on discord maybe um if if we get like a deviation play around this level this is where i would look for a short on 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 gold and similarly this was like a lower time frame long that i was looking for i totally forgot about it even though wait what the fuck i have a alert set up here on it and I, and i still didn't see it that's so fucking weird um but if if that happens i will look for a i will look for a short on on gold here uh, and i will use prime xpt for that for the first time i'm more than happy to do it with you or just do it and you can watch me take the trade i will do it live with you guys um and then we can actually start trading these other commodities because at the end of the day we're here to make money uh, does it really matter if it's coming from crypto gold s&p whatever um tesla i don't know <laughs> um whatever it is as if you if you're good at ta your ta will work um on most charts in my opinion every chart this is a setup i will i will do a post on discord about it but if you do want to open a prime xbt account would really appreciate if you if you could use the ref link that's there in the description the reason why is because i have a lot of promo codes left because these guys are super good by the way at prime xbt they gave me more promo codes they were like yeah if you want um they give me 10 more so i have 10 more promo codes um and the good thing about the promo code is whatever money you deposit on the first time on prime xbt you get 20% more and that's just like free money you can trade with it you can just not do anything with the remaining money just trade with the free money that's that's a possibility somebody actually dm me saying that they actually were doing that so i know that 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 can be done um and yeah if you want those promo codes just dm me on twitter i'll send it to you it's it's pretty simple pretty self explanatory check prime xbt out if you want to make an account use the ref link dm me on twitter get the promo code use the promo code you get some free money trade with it have fun um this is set up i'll i'll post it on discord you guys can can check it out later okay i've got to leave it's it's 52 minutes i actually told my friends i'll be back in like 30 minutes <laughs> i was like so fucking delusional that i thought that i'll be back in in 30 minutes um and i'm i've already done like a 52 minute stream holy fuck time flies by when i'm streaming anyway thank you so much guys really appreciate it i'll i'll see you guys tomorrow good night and happy hunting